Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play. We'll solve it together. Okay, so Natasha is playing a school celebration and wants to have live music and food for everyone who attends. She's found a band that will charge her $7.50, so let's break this down. We've got a band, and the band costs $750. Okay. And a caterer who costs $225 or charges $225 per person. Caterer charges Two twenty-five per person. So it's normal. I mean, write this stuff out because the context here is really confusing. Because your goal is to keep the average cost per person between this range. How many people should attend? The basic idea of this problem, you know, think about it. if you're having a party and you've got to pay seven hundred and fifty dollars flat cost, and you also are have to pay two twenty-five for everyone who enters. Right. If that's the case, how do you keep the how do you keep the average cost low? Well, you have more people show up because no matter how many people show up, if you have 50,000 people showing up, right, the band still only costs 750. So the average cost per person is going to go down the more people that attend. So that means to me, if I look at these choices right here, to get the lowest cost possible, right, for example, 275. I'm going to want to try the biggest extreme here, which is 1500 and see what happens if that works. My equation looks like this, 750, this is the equation modeling the cost, plus 225 per person guaranteed. That's the rate from the caterer. To find the average cost, we take that total cost, that's what this is, and we divide it by the number of people showing up, right? All the people uh, show up, they pay 225, uh, you're, you're charged, excuse me, you're charged 225 for each person that shows up. You also have to pay 750. To find out how much that was per person, you divide by the number of people. And if I want to keep it at 275, I solve this equation. I do that by multiplying both sides by P, and that gets me 750 plus 225P equals 275P. Solving for P, I subtract 225P from both sides. And what we get is... 750 equals 50 cents per person. And we divide both sides by a half. And 750 divided by a half, well, 1,500 halves fit into 750, so that's our answer. Now, what does this mean? If 1,500 people show up, well, then the cost will be low. It will be 275. And the only range that has this in it is choice four. You can try it for equaling 325, and when you solve it, you will get 750. So if 1,500 people show up, she'll only be paying 275 per person. If 750 people pay up, she'll be paying 325 per person. She'll be paying more per person.